In today's part of our F1 23 My Team Career Mode, we head to Las Vegas in the US for the one and only inaugural Las Vegas Grand Prix. Two times before have we driven around this track and two times it has produced a chaotic race. Can it produce the same today? I certainly hope so because it is one of my favourite tracks on the F1 calendar because of the chaos and in real life as well, not only in the game as we are. Here we are then in Q3. Piastri, unfortunately, he did get knocked out in Q2. And we are up on Alexander Albon's time just as we come round the final corner, a long swooping left-hander, taking it flat out, take the inside line, and it's a 131-285. And is that enough for pole? Yes, yes it is. And we will be taking pole position then at the Las Vegas Grand Prix P1. And unlike in Brazil, there will be no penalties this time. Pierre Gasly in the Alpine, doing incredibly well. Alpine with a very strong showing, lines up P2 alongside us. Norris P3, Bottas P4, Russell 5th, Alonso 6th, Albon 7th, Perez 8th, then is the two Aston Martins of Lance Stroll in 9th, and Logan Sargent, a second off our pole time in 10th as we start the formation lap here. We've gone on to the soft tyres that we saved from qualifying. That's why we only went for the one lap in Q3. A lot of other people, however, are going on the hard tyres Piastri on the soft but the top 10 ex excluding us all on medium and hard tyres and hard tyres 7th and ninth, all on mediums everyone else in the top 10 on hards apart from us we go a bit wide on the formation lap that doesn't really affect us though as we go to five red lights for the Las Vegas Grand Prix here in season two it's lights out and away we go and it's a good start for us obviously on the much grippier tyres and we lead comfortably into turn one unchallenged from Gasly and we're already trying to pull away from him with five tenths ahead of him and with one already over a second ahead of Bottas who's doing incredibly well to be in P3 he started P4 remember in the Alpine he's already up to P3 Alonso also starting well as is George Russell as now lap six it's just been pretty much um just us uh, ahead of Gasly for ages and now he's caught up to us the tyres becoming better but you'll notice on the screen it is raining and this is the lap I've decided to pit on as Gasly takes the lead of the race we dive back down the inside just keep it on the circuit but it's so hard to keep the conditions to be stable here on the conditions I believe that's a has gone off as well I believe he has um, got an engine failure of some sort as so we come into the pit lane, onto the intermediate tyre. So we're boxing for the Inters now. Lots of other people following us in, but quite a few, including our Piastri, our teammates, staying out. If he double stacked, it wouldn't really be too bad. It's, we were so far ahead of him. So we come in 2.3 seconds and we're out in seventh ahead of Sergio Perez and George Russell Gasly seems to have dropped down the order from his pit stop maybe he didn't get the best stop time but as we come out DRS is disabled so we that shows we've made the right choice to come onto the inters now now as we overtake Daniel Ricciardo quite easily as he comes into the pit lane that very lap we gained over five seconds on him and as we come around the final corner we are comfortably in P1 now it's lap 12 we have been really struggling on these inters. We were two, three seconds ahead of Perez when we came out, but he's just gained on us completely. And I think the reason is, is because our front wing and rear wing are too high up. We set our, um, our, our, rate, our car up for the dry conditions, hence maybe why we were so far ahead in quali and the start of the race. But as the rain came, so did everyone else's pace as we try and go back down the inside of Sergio Perez keep on track again and re-overtake him up into P1 but this is going to be a real scrap for the lead and for the win here in Las Vegas we are going to have a huge train behind us and Sergeant by the way kudos to him he's up in P5 despite starting P10 if you remember but 
Either way for us, it's not looking good as we go very deep. And that Perez thought about a little move there into P1 on the inside. But again, we go deep and that could uh, allow Perez this time. We're tiptoeing around this circuit and you'll see I'm asking, I am keep I keep asking my engineer whether the wets or inters are better and he keeps telling me the inters, but he also kept telling me that the dries were the better tyres when it really was the inters. So I'm thinking about boxing for the inters, for the full wets here. As Perez going round the outside, you can see how much later he's breaking. I did not even expect that move on Perez, but we do keep the position on the inside. But surely it's a matter of if not when Perez overtakes us, and then even George Russell, Fernando Alonso. As you see, I click box this lap. I am boxing for the wet tyres, and this is going to be very, very difficult. We are still trying to defend from Sergio Perez in the Red Bull and we are boxing this lap onto the full wet tyres. We're repairing our wing damage which we've collected. I'm not sure from where, where it seems we've just picked it up. But we are going to be pitting onto the full wet. So we have to take the gamble here. We just have to because we aren't going to win the race. We are leading but we aren't going to win realistically. So we are going to pit this lap onto the full wet compound tyres and hopefully they'll give us more grip than these inters are at the moment however you do remember in Monza at the start of the race I think it might have been I think it was this season or maybe last I can't quite remember we did struggle on the wets initially before pitting to the inters yes that was this year and then we carried those inters to the for the rest of the race but I hope that these wets give us more grip George Russell also into the pit lane but I believe that's just for damage rather than actually changing tyres. So we get a stop time of 7.5 seconds and we're out and we are ahead of George Russell. And hopefully these wet tyres can give us some good grip. But as we come out the pit lane, you're about to see we are drifting already and it's so difficult to control the car. And that's not a very good start on these wet tyres. And I expect George Russell, who's gone onto the inters, which shows possibly it is the wrong decision to go to the full wets. He's already all over the back of us. He was over a second behind us. And you're about to see the difference between if grip between the inters and the wets. We're on the inside here. And we're and Russell just sending it around the outside. Absolutely nothing I could do about that. And he's up into P18. I mean, we do come out very, very far behind. But you see, we're just drifting the car through and we've got more front wing damage. Russell's pinches us so much and honestly, I'm not even angry because we'd have to pit anyway. And we are going to pit again on that lap or back onto the Inters. But it's just a bit, a bit of a shame because this race promised so much. A, a, a dry to wet race, but it's turned out to be nothing for us really so we do pit again and we are changing the front wing again we've collected even more damage on that lap and it's a good thing we won the championship already although to be fair Russell is also down the order with us and as we come out the pit lane I think I think I'll just let this clip play out because not much has been said as you can see we're still drifting we just keep it out the wall and I'll, I'll just let you guys watch this clip just to see your, to see your opinions. Yes, we did crash out the race on his exit. I think it was more of the cold tyres, but we were struggling anyway. We weren't going to do well. So a disappointing end to the race here in Las Vegas for us.
so then it's P19 in the end for us. An incredibly, incredibly disappointing race for us. Piastri, though, does make it from P11 to P10, so he does secure one point. And Charles Leclerc up in P6. Oh, sorry, pardon me. But Carlos Sainz also nowhere to be seen. Oh, Carlos Sainz P8, sorry. And Pierre Gasly drops down to P9 from P2, while Bottas claims a podium. So maybe staying out for Bottas did work. But as we check the standings, we see we are 78 points in front of George Russell. I was not in the constructor standings. We are 51 points ahead of Red Bull, who have overtaken Ferrari. So Ferrari's poor showings in the past couple of races has cost them. And that means that we are the F1 constructors champion for this 2024 F1 season. Because there's only 44 more points more up for grabs for one constructor with the last race in Abu Dhabi. Next time out, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss that one out. But there's we, there's a 51 point gap. So we are constructors champions here in 2024. Brilliant race from us. And probably well deserved, I say. Especially with Piastri coming in on the midpoint of the season. Maybe with Djokovic, we might not have it, but... Piastri's really come in, got a race win, and got some, a lot of crucial points for us in this Constructors. See you guys next time for the season finale and the series finale here in Las Vegas. Like and subscribe so you don't miss out that one, and I'll see you guys next time. Goodbye.